Let's just get in this chat. Everybody, how are we all doing? Let's get in here. Let's get in this. Let's get in this chat. Connor Mead here, coming in from my mommy's house still. Uh, nothing really new except I did my eyebrows today, and I feel like I look evil, and I kind of like it. Uh, so that's basically what's new with me. Today, we have the hilarious Dan Curry joining us as soon as he pops on up. Dan's, he's fucking awesome. He's a staple in the Lansing community scene. Uh, he's a lot of fun. He runs an, uh, probably one of the best open mics in Michigan, in my opinion, uh, called Max Monday Night Comedy. He has an album out, I think it's called Dan Curry and Friends. He has a podcast called Game Goose. Uh, he's a very funny guy. Uh, as soon as you say join the little chat, Dan, I see you came in. Just say join. There's like a little prompt. You just click that and I'll bring you on up whenever you're ready. I think, did you see it? I don't know if it's there. He got this little thing. He's a little piggy. Uh, I'm saying nonsense. Just waiting on that. I don't know if I can. Can I? There we go. There it is. All right. We're going to bring Dan Curry on. Do, 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 do. Waiting for the Dan Curry. How exciting. What a great day it is. There he is. Ah, oh, howdy, cunt. Hey, howdy, cunts. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, you know, just at, at the abode nice. on this stormy day. You still have power or people are losing power? Yeah, we got real lucky. We uh, we were just got the the edge of it. So oh, yeah. We had the windows open. It was downpouring, and it sounded like there was cannon fire. Like, right. like, like, uh, like a couple miles away from us. So, uh, didn't lose power. It downpoured our street, flooded all that stuff, but we kept power and wind got pretty bad, but not too bad. Well, that's so, good. You well, kept power. Glad then? You're good. Yeah. We still have power. We're kind of I'm a little bit worried. You live by a lake and it has been downpouring. So I'm like, yes. how floody does it get over here? But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out we have a kayak we can live in that for the rest of our lives or something i don't there know how it go. works yeah <laughs> who knows now we might have to 2020 the way right. it's going now we live in kayaks yeah, yeah like <laughs> this i don't know i don't ever just i must hold on to every little bit, bit of a happiness out of this little pig yeah i, I just saw. i squeak sometimes <laughs> and it just makes you feel better doesn't it <laughs> i like it i like that pig it reminds me of, so this came from tignataro but it's one of my favorite things to do is can you make the sound of a bike horn and it's so oh. fun. <laughs> I like that one. Here you go. Oh, that. <laughs> Might as well. Uh, I guess some um, it. It's so fun to try. It's so fun to do. That is. That's a fun. That's a fun. That's a good fun thing. I'm gonna yeah. do that from now on. I'll just be crying in my work in my room. Uh, I just can't do it. <laughs> it uh, speaking of crying in your room, how has your uh, quarantine been? Have you been? Um, Staying creative. I know you've been playing Animal Crossing. Yeah, I haven't played Animal Crossing in a minute. No. Um, I guess every day I played it for like a month and a half every day. Right. And then it's like, <laughs> ah, see, I think I really falter once it comes to the creative part of that. Like, right. I like when I'm like first building stuff up and it's like, get the money and all that stuff. And then once it's like here, everything's done. Just make it how you want it you to be. You have all I'm the like, bugs. You have everything you need. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I moved in. The thing is, I, I try to avoid getting stuck on one game for a long time because I like to play about or play games. And the, my podcast right. is about video games. And right. I really don't want to be every week like, okay, for the eighth week in a row, I'm going to talk about yeah. one game. So right. I, I try not to get stuck on games anymore. Yeah, I guess I want to talk about your podcast a little bit. Is it always like newer games or do you like go back and play no. some classics? Or Oh, uh, we definitely play classics. So ours is uh, a touch different and we just change formats, which I like a lot. So um, being a gamer, I like listen to a lot of podcasts. And the two things I noticed were, uh, number one, a lot of these people have no charisma. <laughs> like it's so <laughs> awkward to listen to. And you're just like, oh, man. Yes. And then number two is that all of them are the same because they're all doing news. So it's yeah. like, everyone's like, oh, and then today Bungie talked about Destiny. And then the next podcast is like, oh, today Bungie talked about Destiny. And then the third podcast is <laughs> all the same news um, Yeah, because everyone's locked into it. So our podcast now, um, we have no news or anything like that. We used to do news. We used to do upcoming games. Um, we mm. kind of just streamlined. So we have two segments now. Uh, first one, we just talk about games we're playing, and they can be new games, they can be old games, just what we've played in the past week. 
And then we have a segment where we take a deep dive into an aspect of video games. Um, so yeah. yesterday we did um, Easter eggs. So we each kind I love of that. found like about Easter eggs and the history of Easter eggs and video games. And we've done, I mean, we've, we're coming up on our, almost done with our second year. So oh, cool. yeah, we're, we've done probably around a hundred episodes now. We're getting to about that. And we've done uh, we, ones where we watch movies that are based on video mm -hmm. games and rate them. Uh, right. We've read books about video games and talked about those. We've had uh, Nick Lydorf came on and talked about lawsuits oh, yeah. involving video games. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> so like, we've done all kinds of stuff. So it's really fun. We're just kind of oh, yeah. getting nervous. Like, are we ever going to, we, we're going to run out of stuff to talk about, <laughs> right. I feel like. But, I mean, games are always being made. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Games are being made, and, you know, I, I think we're just afraid we're going to run out of, like, the generic, like, okay, we've talked about shooters. We've talked about RPGs. Like, we can't do that again. Right. So, but we'll find right. something to talk about. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. <laughs> you, you're, you're, it's called Game Goose, or is it mm -hmm. Gamer Goose? Okay, Game, Game Goose. Goose, yes. Have you played Untitled Goose Game? Yes. Uh, I think that, we already talked about this the last yeah, time we talked. <laughs> I believe so. Last time, it came, or when it came out, we got so many followers on Twitter, because I <laughs> think that people thought we were connected somehow. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but yes, I have played it. It's really fun and funny. Um, it's one of my favorites. Yeah, so we just liked Game Goose because we liked the sound of it. Uh, yeah. We were really close to being Game Gorilla. We just oh, wanted, yeah. That wanted sounds more serious, be, though. <laughs> yeah, we just wanted to be like an animal and uh, something. Right. So we went Game Goose. And then we started um, a network that has a couple different podcasts on it. Uh, I'm oh, only cool. part of Game Goose, but they all are, have birds in them. Uh, <laughs> so there's one where they play D&D. &D. That's on Mondays. Mm -hmm. They call it Duck, Duck, Dice. And then yeah, um, we had another one where they played board games called Tabletop Turkey. Oh, so, nice. <laughs> yeah, we're always thinking about doing other ones, but we're the two like make everyone so busy. So one guy basically produces them all. Um, right. So that's already oh, enough yeah. for him. We'd have to get like more people on board, but it is fun. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a good way there to like go. cross promote and stuff. Yeah. That's, that's cool. That's fun. So I want to talk about your beginning. Oh, little gosh. Dan Curry. Oh, you gosh. started and you're like 16, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, so, was, yeah, so how did that, like being in high school, like how did you get up? Can you go to any open mics or most of them at bars? Like, how was that like? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at Oso over there. He's saying you're looking fresh. Oh. <laughs> that's that's hey. all right. I've been, I'm in quarantine <laughs> mode, man. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only time anything. I get nice and pretty is for doing these interviews. And hey. then I'm usually a troll. Sometimes yeah, <laughs> I just I just like crawled out of my chair. I was playing Portal and made my way. Oh, out I want to play Portal so bad. Oh. You can't find it anywhere except on that orange, the, the orange box, orange pad. Yeah. If you have, box. do you have an Xbox? What do you have? Yeah. Oh, you can just download it separately. Um, oh, because I looked on the the like through the Xbox on the store, yeah. and it wasn't all I had was Bridge whatever. Yeah, because they have Portal. I think they have Portal, and then I just bought Portal Two like right before I walked up here. So I know Portal Two is available yeah. on there. Okay, um, I think because I have Portal one. separately. I don't have the orange box anymore. I sold it a long time. Yeah. Ago. Um. So when I was in high school, I uh, wanted to do stand up. Um. Mm -hmm. The first time I did it was at our talent show, uh, which oh. was a pretty big deal for our high school. Um. Almost everyone came. So yeah. For a long time, it was the biggest crowd I played. Uh, it was like <laughs> six hundred. And that was your first, first time ever? Wow. Yeah. Um, How'd it go? It went okay. Uh, okay. It was a lot easier, like, because, like, you're, they're not strangers. I went, my school had, right. like, a thousand students in it, maybe. Um, so people mm. knew who everyone was for the most part. So you get that. And then you get the fact that, like, everyone is not only having a human experience, but everyone is having the same experience in the same school. So you right. can just do, like, jokes about the principal and stuff like that and, get away with it so it wasn't it wasn't that bad um mm. recently i just the person who f filmed it it was still on youtube and i, <laughs> I was like dude this is the first thing that comes up when you search my stand-up you please <laughs> oh, <nice>. take this down <laughs> i think I, yeah like a year ago i got him to finally take it down um because i was definitely like trying to like emulate dane cook and shit like i had no right, idea course. like who i was as a person um yeah. so after that because you know i was i didn't go to clubs and stuff um in retrospect i wish like i wish i would have known about connections earlier and mm -hmm. not been afraid to be like hey can i do this because like in my head i was like i'm not 18 i'm not allowed in the building 
you know, right. and that wasn't yeah. the case at all. They totally would have let me in. Yeah. Um, so I would go to music open mics in like our oh, town yeah. and I would do those. <laughs> um, and then, uh, I would be on our local television show, our local television channel. Our school had a television channel. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, called TV Twenty Five. So I would do stand up on like their late night shows. <laughs> so I'm sure those tapes are out there too. And those are the but... dirty ones. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> real <Yeah>. edgy stuff. <laughs> yeah, you had to be super clean, and that was like, it was weird because when I was under eighteen, you know, like I didn't want to be dirty for stuff because like I don't think my parents would have appreciated that. Everywhere I went, I had, was, like, required to be clean. And I just don't think in general uh, kids, people would have been like, yeah, 16-year-old swearing, sweet, I'm comfortable. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, 16-year-old, um, talking about his wang-wang. That's what, <laughs> yeah. that's what the people want. <laughs> <laughs> so I was forced to write clean at the beginning. Uh, right. And then I think when I turned 18, that, like, I was like, freedom. I can write whatever <laughs> I want. <laughs> um, but, like, going back, like, I've become cleaner now. Uh, yeah. Than I have not ever, obviously, in high school. But like now, it's like I barely swear if I'm on stage for the most part. Unless I'm at max. Right. Sometimes like, I can live yeah. there. Get yeah. a little comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, nice. For did sure. you uh, go to high school? Did you start off in Lansing, or did you move to Lansing after um, a while? I went. I lived in Hazlitt, which is just outside of Lansing. Okay. It's just a, yeah. a suburb of. Um, it's like it's like twenty minutes from where I live now, uh, and I live okay. really close to Max. So. Um, but yeah, it, and I mean, just like any city, I feel like the suburbs in the city is very separate. Um, mm -hmm. So like, my we didn't like come into Lansing to do anything. Like we didn't do like right. ever come here. Um, the only time mm -hmm. I ever came to Lansing is sometimes we have choir concerts here. Um, there you so go. yeah, I, we would come down to like the Lansing Center to sing and stuff like that. But uh, no, I didn't really get into like hanging out in Lansing until I went to college at LCC. So okay. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, what was it? Wasn't it the tenth anniversary of Max recently? No, we just had our eighth. 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 Not, not right. ten yet. Right. Uh, <laughs> that'll be yeah, twenty twenty two. So. Okay, we should, we should probably just give it another year though. This year doesn't count. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we just had it, and I was like, man, this sucks that we have to just do yeah. it online, but. It happens. Right. I mean, it's not, we're not the only ones suffering. Everybody's going through that, you know. Right. People having oh, their birthdays sure. and shit. Like, yeah. Cool. You get that. Yeah, mine's in August, so I'm like, right. Oh, yeah. That's probably when the second wave is going to be in full force. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, like, what with the second wave coming, like, what is going to happen? Because I feel like the government is just going to be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> right. I feel like everyone's just giving up at this point. They're like, yeah. we're just open now. You're just, it's over. <laughs> and like, even like Gretchen Whitmer, who did a great job, she took us from being number three in cases to number 26. Right. But everyone was, all the Republicans, all the conservatives were so mad at her. Like, mm -hmm. her trying to re-shut down everything will be a oh, disaster God. if that happens. Yeah, it won't happen. It's just, there's no, they're going to ruin it. They're going to, nope. <laughs> they're all doomed. And no one's going to be able to stay home because their bosses aren't going to let them because they're like, well, yeah. the government's not shut down. You have to be at work and everyone's going to die. So. Yeah. And then, then we're all going to die. It's, yeah. uh, <laughs> well, not all. I mean, most of, honestly, it's going to be a lot of the older people who are at those protests, not the, the first of the first, the ones that are about the anti-lockdown protests. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> those will be we'll, the first ones to go, probably. <laughs> we'll die one way or another. Right. It'll, we'll it'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not going to get away. No final destination going on here no uh <laughs> so is there any date for max have you guys have any kind of opening date yet no we don't um yeah neither do we because <laughs> venues just don't have any kind of timeline at all you know it doesn't feel like right. it's even close to venues opening yeah and then it's like well what like because it's there's two bars that are really close to each other max and the avenue um mm -hmm. that are I staying i think they're staying closed right now just for the most yeah. part because it's like if you go to a restaurant, you go to a bar where you sit at a table, that is so much, and like have a server come to you, that is so much easier than these bars where like you're made Everyone's... to walk around them and mingle together. Yeah. So I think, cause it's just, it'd be so hard to get people to stay away from each other. Cause that's yeah. the whole point is to be right. like. Especially when everyone gets drunk and, yeah. oh, I yeah. haven't seen you in forever, let's make <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, I'm somebody who wants to be cautious about this and has taken it pretty serious. 
But right. as soon as I'm like a couple beers in at max, that's going to go out the window. There's no <laughs> right. Like, You're going to start uh, deep throating the microphone and just go. <laughs> Yeah, I've missed it so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're they're even saying I don't think they've opened yet, but they're like with the size of it, we're allowed to have mm -hmm. like ten people in there, right? So kind of like, what's the point? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and no shows. So and then it's like once shows open up, like having half capacity, like is that even going to work for like some of, the, especially the smaller venues, like because yeah. you kind of want an audience that's together and there's like the wave of laughter and it's like. All right, right, well, everyone stay away from each other and yeah. try to still <laughs> Don't enjoy laugh too it. hard. Yeah, right. don't spread your germs everywhere. So I don't know. Right. I, I feel like we might be in, like, next year before, like, we get real shows. Right, um, yeah, So for sure. I did book one gotcha. in September, so we'll see what nice. happens by then. Yeah, I <laughs> apparently have some, I don't know, the drive-in shows coming up. I don't have a specific date yet, but that might be a thing. You're doing I'm, shows I'm at a drive-in? Yeah, it's like a drive-in movie theater, but they're going to do a comedy show. What? Which we'll see if that works or if it's going to be awkward. <laughs> How are people, are they going to give people, like, speakers that they hook onto their... I think so. Car? I don't know. I didn't set it up. I didn't... Uh, yes, yeah, so I just got hit up like, hey, we're probably going to do this. Would you be comfortable? If yeah. We're probably going to start doing this in June or July. So we'll see. I'm curious. I don't know yeah. if I have to like yell at cars or if they will right. have little Are speakers or people going to have their heads like out the window. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be weird. Right. But, yeah. Like right. honk if you like this. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't even think about that. That'd be great. Flash your blankers if you're booing. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of like a round of applause. Like everybody honk your horns for your next comedian. Yeah. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that, it's it's going to be a, an experience for sure. Yeah. Uh, I got offered something at the end of the month, and they're like, it's outside, so that's all right. And they're like, but it has to be PG-13 because it's in public. And I was like, ah, I'm going to wait a little while. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just a yeah. little wait. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Lance, we talked about that. Have you ever, like, wanted – have you ever thought about moving to a hub, like New York, L.A., Chicago? Yeah. I actually, in 2012, I had like two, three grand saved up and I was planning to move to Chicago. Uh, I had some people I was going to move in with and everything uh, was about to go out there. We we're going to start looking at apartments and stuff. And then I fell in a hole and I broke my ankle. Oh, God. Yes. And what I kind just, of hole? Um, it was like a you know, yard. So I used to do inspections for insurance companies. Oh, okay. um, and I was trying to take a picture of someone's roof and mm -hmm. they had like a little like foot, not even a foot tall porch, like a six inch, just kind of wood slab porch. Right. So I was trying to get a picture of the roof. I couldn't see it. So I was going to take a step back off the porch and knowing, you know, it's only like six inch drop, but there was right. a hole, like a, like <laughs> oh, a gardening no. hole that they were going to plant a plant yeah. there or something. And I went and I snapped it. And ah. so I couldn't work for like three months. I had to right. be no, no job at all. Uh, I did stand up. Uh, so I like had to get on stage before the audience came in and like sit there yeah. and like stuff. Um, especially cause I was yeah. usually the host at that point at some, right. like, a lot of the places. Going on and, off. and, um, then, uh, so I, I just started dating Courtney, who was my wife now. And, we were kind of like deciding like, are we going to stay together? Cause I'm planning to move to Chicago. And mm -hmm. once I broke my ankle, I like stayed on her couch like the whole time. And right. I had no money. So then, yeah. But when it was done, I just ended up being here and staying here and, uh, yeah. Didn't want to go anywhere at that point. I kind of was like, ah, I like max. And I kind of started right. just finding other things. And, um, yeah. So I had thought about it now. I don't think I would. Yeah. Well, hell yeah. yeah. I'd be sad. <laughs> I, lo I love Max. I love Lansing. <laughs> yeah, and, and my, like, ideals around what I want comedy to be have changed a lot. Because it yeah. used to be, like, I'm going to go and I want to be famous and all this kind of stuff. And then, like, now I'm like, you know, people in Michigan deserve comedy, too. Right, uh, and, yeah. And I like doing it here. And you can drive around and do stuff. And Yeah, Yeah, sure. I like it. And I'm kind of too anxious to live in a big city now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll visit. I mean, who knows how many holes are out there. <laughs> be terrifying you never know right yeah <laughs> <laughs> more people more holes yeah, yeah i think that's a i think that's a thing yeah it's gotta be right you gotta have people yeah holes. yeah so 
Yeah, well, uh, what, what else do you want to talk about? We talk about the podcast. Do you have any, have any advice for people starting off for the um, little babies? Just do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just actually, do it. I did write a Take thing. Nike. Um, if you want to check it out, I'll post it somewhere if you need me to help Oh, yeah. You. Actually, I remember. Yeah. Um, if you need me to give you a link or something, or I can post it oh, on yeah. my page. Uh, starting to Stand Up, I think is what it's called. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just about, like, just straight beginner advice so right. well, there's no advice on how to be funny in there it's just like the etiquette of doing stand-up yeah um, because i think that's like when you see people it's for me my first thing is like i can't even pay attention if someone's funny or not if i'm like yeah, i didn't mm -hmm. shake the host's hand although we might right. not be allowed to do that anymore yeah so that's, it's a that's gonna be a whole oh that's gonna be the hardest part you're yeah. like oh never mind because my first like <laughs> yeah my first thing is like i don't even give a shit if someone's funny i'm like are they like, are they polite? Like, did they move the mic stand? Like, were right. they on time? Did they end yeah. on time? Like, I don't even give a shit if someone's funny because if you can't do those basic things, like, you're not going to make it in comedy. Right. So it's just, like, the basic, like, ground rules of, like, this is what to expect. This is what Etiquette. the community expects of you. Like, yeah, just chill out and go do it. So. Right. And I'm oh, tired of, good. like, people who be like, I've been thinking about doing it for years. I'm like, I, I don't give a shit. <laughs> right i'm so fucking sick of hearing that do i never want to hear and that go, again. Well, yeah then I, do it yeah I just so many think, well i don't have enough yeah. jokes i'm like then to go to the host and say hey i have two jokes can i go do them because i'm right not, like i'm not gonna write you jokes and i'm yeah. not gonna listen to your jokes and tell you oh, if they're no. funny or not because they're not and they're not won't be because they're your half the times jokes. they're memes like stuff like i know you got this offline that's not gonna mm -hmm. work <laughs> yeah or they're just Why like these weird think? rants where you're like but what, like, I get the overall <laughs> idea is funny, but like, what parts are you expecting people to laugh at? It's like, I don't, and yeah. it's like, I don't know, man, you got to go in front of the audience. I can't tell you. Yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, with the online dating, that's like what every guy uses as an icebreaker for some reason. <laughs> I think I want to try comedy. How do I, what do I do? Where do I go? What do I do? I'm like, just go to a bar. I don't know. Yeah. Go anywhere but here, please. <laughs> That's so funny. I think that would work. That'd be such a right. weird, like with anything. I know. If, like, if I I like oh, I think was... I want to be a dentist. Is that, <laughs> right. how do I get into that? That would be like the weirdest thing to do. Right. Yeah. It's like, that is not what I want to talk to anybody about. Right. Like, yeah, this is like the number. If you haven't done stand up and you want to do stand up, fucking do stand up. That's do it. step <laughs> one. Like, there's nothing else you can do. People, like, oh, I'm not ready yet. You're never going to be ready. Right. But there's no. It's not practice. gonna be a day. God's yeah. not gonna come down. But it's actually like George Carlin. Like you will. <laughs> right. You're not gonna have like a five minute set and go. This is gonna be part. You like. You'll never know. So yeah. you gotta just go do it. So. For sure. I agree with that one. Mm-hmm. All right. I want to talk about, oh, yeah, the album. So oh, yeah. it was Dan Curry and Fred. So it was you. I know Jenkins was on it. Uh, mm -hmm. Was it? I guess let's talk about it. it Who's all on it? Uh, okay. Me, Mark Roebuck, Pat Seaver, Jason Carlin, and Robert Jenkins. Oh, yeah. So, that's all, and that's on, uh, like, is that on iTunes or anything It's like on that? Bandcamp. I think I took me and taken it down. I'm not super I know. I did click on it. it, and it wasn't there. So that's yeah. why I was like, where did it go? I'm not super stoked <laughs> on it anymore. So uh, I think I'm going to. How long ago was it? 2012, 13, somewhere oh, okay. around there. So um, I think we recorded it, was it that long ago? It might have been 2014. I don't know. It was yeah. somewhere around there. Um, I think it was recorded in January. It was definitely the winter, and it came out on my birthday. So I, nice. I want to say it was 2014, because I remember it just yeah. came up, like, the anniversary. I was like, I did that that long ago. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> insane. So, um yeah, but it was really fun. I kind of wanted to, like, capture the essence of what Max was. Um, mm. So it even starts out, Mark and I used to co-host the show, and we would, yeah. like, improvise at the beginning. So it even starts out with, like, an improvisation uh, between fun. Mark and I, and then goes through um, Pat, Rob, and uh, Jason, who were the uh, um, other regulars. And then Mark, mm -hmm. and then I did, like, a, probably about a half hour at the end. So nice. it was fun. Um kind of like a compilation so but like i like i mentioned i'm not super stoked on it anymore there's a lot of stuff on there i fucking hate and uh
some stuff that I still do and I do it so much better. <laughs> like there's right, like, right. I listened to it recently and I was like, yeah, this is a good one. And I was like, yeah, where the fuck is the second half of this joke? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So, um, I don't know. Once everything gets normal, I'm thinking about just redoing one. Yeah. I was about so, to say, you gotta, yeah. gotta get an album out there. I was mm-hmm. like, Seaver has one and Jenkins need you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Just a new one. So I've been, I've been thinking about it, working on it, but I'm super picky about my jokes and stuff. Right. Like, and it's so funny. I'll ask people like, where just, I'll put like test the waters and be like, what are some of your favorite jokes of that? I do. And people will throw stuff out that I'm like, I really, yeah. <laughs> like, I just feel like those ones don't hit, but it's always the right. comics that like those ones. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. I've like, gotten God that. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, Oh, I love that joke. I'm like, that's like a joke. I just kind of add in what I'm like, Oh, I have a little bit of extra time. And- right. And you're like, we'll see what happens. Like, it's not a, it's, right. it doesn't bat even close to 90. But, right. All right. <laughs> yeah. But alrighty then. Mm-hmm. I guess, uh, so what is, out of comedy, what's your proudest moment? Is there anything you're, like, really proud about oh. that was just a highlight? Um, like, I'm, not comedy gonna do, life? I'm not going to do proudest moment, because, I don't most know. Most fun, I, I don't know. I think <laughs> I'm going to do most fun. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Because um, <laughs> I think comedy should be fun. Like, I have some moments that I'm, like, kind of proud of, but I don't think that, like, a lot of comedy is just random. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, some of the stuff I've done that's been cool is not because, like, I was great. It was because I was available. (laughs) (laughs) Because someone dropped. Definitely a part of it. You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah. Um, But uh, my number, like, probably my number one was Bliss Fest. Right. For sure. I was hoping I was I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> yeah, it is so it's so fun. And it was one of those right. things where it's like we didn't make a ton of money for it. Uh, no, we did get free tickets to that festival though. That was fun. Yeah, and food. And yep, and it just was booze. like, yeah, it was just like the. Perfect... I definitely paid in myself and booze enough in that place. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, like walked out like even monetarily probably. Yeah. Like oh yeah, but made like on the food on the booze aspect definitely <laughs> were great um yeah. but, like that was so fun because like the it was you me nick and uh, lou who just mm-hmm. a fun group number right. one the outside of comedy was fun and mm-hmm. every show we did like everybody was so supportive like, yeah <laughs> like, it, it was, was just cool. like this audience is here for it man right like it was so fun so like if i had an option like one of my new dreams is to record an album in that little hut yeah <laughs> that hut that held like 20 people i was like right. this would be because that was my most that was my favorite uh venue, yeah. my favorite set we did there um yeah because that was just so fun and it was just so intimate and that was awesome um yeah and yeah every show we did was so fun and it's also cool because like there wouldn't be anyone there and then once we started people would start all forming around us and that that was a really cool feeling yeah like, they don't even have to be there they could be anywhere and they're choosing to be here and listen to us <laughs> yeah because i was just like oh man no one's gonna show for these yeah. <laughs> and, we, and we all were like that right yeah and, and then it would happen we're like what yeah there wasn't a single one that was not like there are a lot of people here <laughs> like, yeah for sure yeah i think the only one like the least amount of people were at that hut because you couldn't fit they a lot couldn't of people fit in more. There. yeah yeah so that, and that was really cool so that that's my oh, number yeah. one. Um, probably my number two is uh, in two. Th- oh, did I know Courtney then? Yeah, I must have. It was 2012 or 2013. Uh, me and a bunch of comics went on tour through Canada, okay. and that was also just a blast. So um, that was me, yeah. Garrett Elzinger, um, Carl Johnson. Um, I'm trying to think who else that you would know. Um, you know Jacob Kuban? He was there. I don't uh, know. Jen Sounds Dama. familiar. But... Yeah, just a lot of people that either don't do it anymore or moved away at this yeah. point. But it was just super fun. Uh, another situation where you just hang out with a bunch of comics and having a good time. So Carl's yeah. mom worked for Hilton. So we got like these sweet okay. ass hotel rooms and stuff. For free. <laughs> oh, yeah. That so was cool. <laughs> yeah. I think those are like the best experiences that oh, you yeah. can have. Yeah. It's all the. The, the mischief, all the, all the travels, adventures. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. So I guess we're going to r- wrap it up on that one. Is there anything you'd want to plug? Anything? Um, plug out. I'm going to plug the independent. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Funny. You guys are seriously <laughs> one of my, like, my favorite room right now. So, um, oh, thanks. Just what I was talking about, like, my ideals of comedy changing, like, my perfect like my perfect venue has also changed right like, when i started you know like it was like the big theaters right, right. and now now yeah. i'm like getting hired to do a couple i did like three or four theaters at the beginning of this year and i'm like yeah. i hate this right. <laughs> like, I used to think it'd be so cool but i fucking hate it anytime so you're big. so far away from the audience it's so big it's right. so dark you can't see anybody and i'm yeah. like yeah i hate it um, so like the independent is like perfect. It's small. You don't need a lot of people to fill it up. You can right. see everybody by the end of your set. You like that person laughs a lot and that person laughs. A lot. Like, you right. know, everybody's kind of vibe. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So yeah, you guys oh, did a yeah, great job you. over there. I'm excited to, uh, get back to it and you oh, know, yeah. max everything. <laughs> I can't oh, wait God, until I everything's normal as long as we don't evolve <laughs> into civil war. Right, yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> right, because I'm like, I'm just going to die. There's no way. Yeah. I do not have the skill set to survive yeah. a civil war. So. I keep squeaking, that's sorry. <laughs> that's okay, I like it. <laughs> I'm just flying around. But, uh, but yeah, hopefully hopefully we can get back yes. to life in comedy. Yes. And I love. can't wait to get back to Max. Hopefully we can finally do that Planned Parenthood benefit show. Yes, I was looking so forward to that. So much stuff, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll get it all done. If we don't this year, we can, we'll just loop around the next year. So For sure. All right. All right. Well, thanks so much for coming on, buddy. Hey, cheers. cheers. Bye, cunt. Cheers. <laughs> Bye, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Uh, Dan Curry, everybody. That was fun. Love that guy. Such a friend. Uh, we do this every Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, check it out uh, tomorrow. Oh, I have to look. I'm horrible. But we post it. We'll post. We'll post what we have. So, uh, yeah, come watch us hang out and have a great day. Bye.